there's going to be an attack in Europe where there's it's going to be in the evening evening at night evening because this was in the evening the gunman struck around 8 in the evening shots were first heard at around 8 p.m. in the center of the city sparking panic I felt it's either France or Belgium it's not in the UK it's not in the UK but it's either it's on this side the western Europe side and now to some developing news out of France three people have died and at least 12 others are hurt when a man opened fire near a famous Christmas market this has happened in Strasbourg near the border with Germany and about 300 miles outside of Paris and it's going to be an attack on the street, not in the buildings. The historic Strasbourg market, visited by millions every year, is heavily guarded. The attack was just 400 yards away. The whole entire thing was just energy, energy, energy. And just picture me thrown in the middle of all this, OK? And I'm just like, OK, I'm in the future, because uh, I already know when I'm in the future. Um, but it's kind of like, OK, um, try and get details. But it was dark. It was dark. It was at night. It was at 8 p.m. local time last night that the gunman came down this road and into that Christmas market behind me. And you can imagine the scene. This is uh, one of the most popular tourist attractions in Europe at this time of year, a medieval Christmas market that is full of tourists and locals milling about in the evenings. But it was dark. It was dark. It was at night. On Tuesday night, a lone gunman opened fire in the historic centre of the city in eastern France. Seriously, and the bullets, oh my goodness gracious. The reason why it, it got me all like, because it's on the street. It's not like as if it's in a building. If it's in a building, at least the bullets are confined somewhere in the building. Yes, sure, they can go through the window and hit someone, but this is on the street. Some people were still on the street. That just before 8 p.m. local time, Tuesday evening, he entered the area around the, the Strasbourg Cathedral. There's very small cobblestone area, very small streets. And when he was in there, near that cathedral, near that famous Christmas market, he started shooting. People say he just started. It was almost like out of nowhere. The gunman struck around 8 in the evening. Witnesses report a dozen shots fired in bursts. I was taking a walk uh, at the Christmas market. Uh, I, I heard some some shots, six, six or seven shots, and then, then I saw two people on the ground. And, and I... I saw even, I think there was a car that the police were like, you know, trying to stop cars coming that way. Authorities placed the city centre on lockdown, warning people to stay indoors. The police closed the area off and urged people living here to stay indoors. I was right in the middle of a gun firing battle. Now, the gun fires were the police security intelligence squad were firing at the terrorists or whoever were, I say terrorists. In the course of the rampage, he came across security forces twice, including at one point the military who were charged with protecting places like this. The police were in the black, police black uniform. So if there's a country that has police black uniform, but most countries have police that are in black are like the squad, the intelligence team and all that. So anyway, they were all in black. Though on this side, they were trying to shoot the perpetrator. Armed police poured in, but the gunman was on the loose. Seriously, the way the bullets fired, I think it's more than one gunman. I think it's more than one gunman. If it was only one gunman, that gunman was shooting everywhere and none of those police were able to aim at him. He was then wounded by soldiers who were on patrol as part of anti-terror operations and fled the scene. The gunman, reportedly known to security services, fled the scene, launching a ground and air search. Good evening. Well, that's uh, that's a big question. If uh, you know, first of all, how did he escape? That's already the, the one big question. The second big question is how did he manage to get in? Uh, um, another thing also that I, I I saw, I felt more like I felt. Um, it was raining that night, like stormy, raining, like thunder, rain, either earlier that night or that night. I don't know, but it was at night.